So they're building a cooking empire founded on the, the teachings of their grandma's cooking. Sean and Craig Mackinoff are authors of the original flavor and natural flavor cookbooks, and they join us now from their home in the United Kingdom. I've decided that I'm only going to speak with Sean um, because Craig is a Manchester United supporter. Well, Manchester will be playing in the, in the, Eng in the league next year, um, so Arsenal will be there. Morning to you both. Welcome to Smile Jamaica. Craig, put up your hand so everybody know, know, knows who is Craig and obviously that's Sean. All right, Sean, Sean. as the Arsenal man, pride of yeah, place man. goes to you. Um, tell me about your Jamaican connection, because I know your grandma is Jamaican. You guys weren't born here, but tell me about that connection before we talk about the, uh, the, the cookbooks. Yeah, absolutely. As you know, we're born in London, born and bred in London. But our family, you know, our grandmother was born in Clarendon, in Jamaica. You know, she came over here in 1958 mm. and she kind of paved the way and made so much sacrifices for all our family, yeah. um, you know, and taught her how to cook. So one side's from Clarendon, the other side's from Chaloni. Yeah. So we yeah. got all our family. Yeah, and, man, and, and Craig, how often have you guys been to Jamaica? Um, I've been there twice. Um, it's been obviously the best, the best place on earth, you know, best place on earth for yeah. sure. Um, tired of this cold England. <laughs> so then, <laughs> but, so, yeah, so if that if that is so, why why you're not living in Jamaica? Well, I don't know. You know, I don't don't know. know. Nanny should have stayed there. So <laughs> Nanny stayed there, we'll living there. So yeah. Um, but, but, you know, back to you, Sean. Me. Tell me about your grandma and how did this cooking thing start? Did you just watch her? Were, were you forced to learn how to cook? How did this happen? You know what? I wouldn't even say we were forced, you know, but we were very close with our mum and grandmother. And we all, they were always in the kitchen. It was like their second job or even first job. Always in the kitchen, you know, slaving away. And because of our connection with them, we kind of felt sorry for them, for them. And we wanted to be there for them and, you know, help them out in the kitchen, doing all the eating potatoes, you know, taking the food orders at Christmas. And that's how it started. I and mean, then over the years, we were watching them, how making ackee and saltfish, your rice and peas, all your traditional, you know, Jamaican favorites. Mm. And yeah. we grow to love food because food was such a big integral part of bringing family together. Yeah. Craig, can you remember the very first thing you were taught to cook? Oh, yes, for sure. Ackee and saltfish, fried dumpling. That was the mm. first thing. <laughs> you know, some people, they learn how to make easy thing in a scrambled egg and... <laughs> or something, but you know, thank God we were we were taught how to make ackee and saltfish yeah. and fried dumplings. Yeah, um, mummy and gra mummy and granny are the best way they make the best dumplings. You know, is, is, you know, is that your up. is that your favorite Jamaican food, Craig? Yes, for sure, for sure. That mm -hmm. along with some oxtail and some um, I love some Ital curry as well. Ackee and callaloo, love it. Wow. Uh, so mm. Sean, why did you guys decide to share this with the whole world? Why did you want to? to let everyone see what you're doing and, and obviously, um, hopefully, earn from this. Yeah, because it all started just, we just wanted to show our friends, you know, how easy it was to make Jamaican Caribbean food. Because, you know, we were brought up on it. And, you know, people we used to go to work and people bringing in their, you know, their crackers and, you know. The dry food. Dr dry food and we used to bring our food in. It's like, wow, it tastes so good. How do you know how to cook it? I said, listen, a grandmother and mother used to teach us so we thought, you know, this is put online to show our friends initially, and it just exploded, it went viral. All our videos went viral, you know, patties, you know, Jamaica, um, rice and beans, everything went viral. And then people thought that they could make it because we made it look so easy in our one minute videos. I made it, you know, accessible, um, easy and tasty. So people were like, you know, I can make that as well. So I think through our videos, it made it, you know, very attractive. Yeah, I know Jamaicans are all over the world and I suspect there's a huge West Indian community in England, London, in the United Kingdom. How easy it is for you to get Jamaican products so that you can uh, be authentic in your cooking? Well, luckily enough, you know, we were raised in South London, um, Thornton Heath, Croydon. So our high street, literally just outside our house, mm -hmm. it was full of um, Caribbean produce, ingredients, uh, markets mm. everywhere. Yeah. It's like little so, Jamaica. It's like literally, literally like a little Jamaica. Literally yeah. like a little Jamaica. So yeah, we well. had we had so much access to all the foods. Um, obviously a lot of takeaway spots as well, takeout spots, um, Jamaica and Caribbean. So we were very, very lucky. Oh, fantastic. So we went to Jamaica. We were very familiar, and obviously with the upbringing in the home as well. Yeah. Um, both sides, of the parents are Jamaican. So. Sean, tell me about mm. original flavor and natural flavor. Yeah. Tell me about that. So, yeah. So original flavor, the book. Um, many of you may be familiar with this book. This is our first published book mm. where we went to Jamaica, 
you know, where we met our family, where we cook, were cooking there as well. And we got to, it's got all the authentic recipes in here of the traditional mm. flavors, lots yes. of family photos. And then this is natural flavor. This is a, a plant-based book. This is our latest book. Um, the first one done very well. We actually done one before that that was self-published all by ourselves. Mm. Um, and then that got attention of the publishing houses in the UK. And luckily enough, you know, we got a lot of offers um, and we went with Bloomsbury Publishing, who we were very traditional publishers and the first publishers of Harry Potter books. So we went with that them and this is our second book with them now, um, mm. plant-based book, Caribbean inspired plant-based book. It's inspired by the um, Itao living as well, Itao food as well, as well as fusions into, you know, doing something new with existing ingredients that we always use in the Caribbean. So we've got recipes like yep. planted malt with chickpea curry. It's very nice, beautiful. Yep. Any stories in there or it's just a book of recipes? Yeah, you've got stories in here. Loads of stories. Stories, you've got, uh, got my, our children's in the book as well. Yes. Our, ch our beautiful children, they're we're fathers now. Mm. They're two years old, they're in the book. So it's kind of like a progression from the previous book. Beautiful. And it's also, uh, yes, sir? No, I said that's yeah. beautiful. What is your favorite yeah, I, meal to cook and your least favorite dish to prepare? What's that, in general or from the book? No, in general. In general, <laughs> favorite one to cook, I'll probably have to be the first one, you know, because Aki and Saltfish, because yeah. that was the first recipe that I was taught. Yeah. Um, and your least favourite? Oh, in the UK, it's expensive, though. Yeah, man, it's expensive. expensive man. But it's worth it, trust yeah. me. <laughs> but not, it's not as good as the fresh one from the tree. Yeah. Um, I, just, oh, I mean, I, 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 I've been doing this, this business for a long time, and I make mistakes almost every single morning, if not every yeah. single morning. <laughs> have you ever made any big cooking mistake and it just never turned out? even close to what you thought it would turn out to be? A lot of times. Lot of times. When we first started out, we used to do a lot of functions, a lot of events, and rice and peas was one of the things we kind of used to mess up a lot when we, when we first started out, you know? It's easy, it's easy when you do it at home, yeah, you know, for family. five or six people. When you're doing it for hundreds of people, you know, you have to, you have to really take your time with it. It's a different, different yeah. animal, you know? Yeah. But that was in the beginning. Now we're masters of it, but when we... <laughs> That was something that we used to always struggle with, but perseverance. Yeah. This yeah. makes perfect. Perseverance. Mm -hmm. Don't give up. Who is the better cook? <laughs> you should know by the eyes. Tell Trust by the me. eyes. Can you tell? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, when we come down to Jamaica, Neville, we'll, we'll do a cook-off. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Who is older, by the way? I'm older. I'm older by three years. You can tell. Uh, I'm wise. I've got, got a few grey hairs coming through, but I'm older, but I'm white at the same time. No, well, you are. I know I know why you're, you're smarter too, because of Arsenal. No, I understand everything. <laughs> exactly, the, exactly. the youngster doesn't get it. He hasn't got it just yet. You know what it is? Like, our dad supports Man United, so mm. I was a bit of a rebel. I didn't want to follow them. <laughs> I think Ian Wright, the person kind of wanted me. And I saw black players and stuff like that. Yeah, man. Mm. You kind of want to support them. So. It's, it's amazing to meet you both, and, 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 and really, should you, or the next time you land to Jamaica, we'll get in touch with our producer, and you guys can come in and, and do a meal for everyone in the studio. We have about 440 <laughs> people in the studio now, so you can cook for everybody, right? It's a pleasure being with you guys. Thanks, smile to make when we're down, we're always watching. And yeah, our family as well. Stay we safe. Smile Stay safe, Bridget. God bless you both, and look after yourselves, all right? Amen. Take yeah. care, bye-bye. Yeah, man, Sean and Craig Mackinoff, authors of The Original Flavor, which is a recipe book, as you saw and heard, and Natural Flavor, which is also uh, a cookbook. All right, after the break, folks, we take a look at a few jobs that are fun, 